I'm Jenna. I'm Jovi. And I'm Henry. Today we are going to be learning about living and non-living things. A living thing grows, changes, and makes other living things like itself, also called a reproduction. It needs air, food, water, and space, or shelter to stay alive. What are some examples of living things? Can you think of three? I can. We are living things. Maybe you have a pet. That is a living thing. And the plants all around us are living things. Wait, plants need food? Yep, that's right. Even plants need food and they get it from the soil or fertilizer added to the soil. A non-living thing does not eat, drink, grow, and reproduce. It doesn't need food, water, and air. Can you think of three non-living things? I can. Walks are clothes, and the chair I happen to be sitting on are all non-living things. Let's see what they find as they go on a nature walk. Maybe you could do this too. Let's go, guys. We're gonna go find some non-living and living things. Yeah! I'm excited. Uh, this is the living column where, like, pretend we saw a bird, we're gonna draw a bird. And pretend we saw a walk, we could draw a walk on the non-living and living. I saw a tiny little spider, and it camouflages. It's small and hard to see. I'm not hoping to see spiders, centipedes, and any creepy, uh, creepy bug, guys, guys, but I'm hoping to guys, see a snake. Come here, guys. Just be careful. There's a little pond right here. We're back from our walk, and I think we all know what living and non-living things are. These are living things. Oh, they're parakeets, also known as budgies. And we know they're living because they breathe, they reproduce, and can you guys guess? They need nutrients and food. Hi, Mango. Hi, Olsen. Now that you've seen some of our pets, now we're gonna teach you how to make your own non-living and living pet. Here's what we'll need for a non-living pet. Googly eyes, a rock, a paintbrush, paint if you want to paint it. Use something to protect your table from getting messy. This is how you make it. Paint a rock or not and decorate it as you like. Notice we were creative and used Chanel's bag. Chanel sticks for a furry back and a fun tail, a gem for the nose, and little red pom-poms for the ear. Now we're going to make our living pet. First of all, you're going to need a cup, some grass seeds, or whatever seeds you have, a knee-high, and most of all, you're going to need soil. First, open up your knee-high. Then, add a tablespoon of grass seed in it, or any seed you have. Add a half a cup to a cup of soil, and then close it up. You can either have help with a knot, or use a small hair tie to close the bottom. Seal the knee high together, so the soil and the grass seed or other seeds you have won't spill. Finally, when you seal this up, get the ball wet and then place it in a small cup of water. And then seeds will start to grow. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Nutrients for Life. Thanks for watching. Hope you like our video. Bye!